a Nigerian football administrator and proprietor of if FC Ifanyuba, Dr. Patrick Ifanyuba, remains positive. His one family, one footballer project will change the face of football in the country. The program, which aims at discovering and helping talented children excel in football in Nigeria and across Africa, has finally been launched. At the flag of the project, an event which held at the Ifanyuba Stadium in Nnewi, an Ambra state. Thousands of children were handed footballing kits, including boots and balls. The one family, the one family, one footballer project had been commissioned in Moscow, Russia, at a ceremony chaired by CAF President Ahmad Ahmad. It was an effort made at giving the project a global audience. The initiative was born out of a passionate desire to help African children realize their dreams of becoming <laughs> global football stars. Thank you. So to tap into bringing in business and football together and then we were able to uh, let's uh, a John of Miguel uh, starts with the stuff. Let's start something today by getting our boys, getting our young ones to have a culture in football, real culture, that at least match international standard. And that's why we've been able to you know, uh, coin uh, one F one F. We'll be in Thai, uh, Cairo for the African lunch, and after that we we'll start. You know what we did today in Newe. We will be doing that in Ghana, in Senegal, in Egypt. You know. It's the end of the road for the senior women's team, the Tigress, at the FIBA Women's World Cup in Spain. The fairy tale run of the Nigerian women came to an end on Friday in the quarterfinal with a 71 to 40 points defeat in the hands of the United States. The Nigerian women raised hopes of an upset when they took the first quarter 17 9. But the Americans fought back in the second quarter as they regained.